Hello everyone, Loremaster of Sotek here today, and this video for today is going to be pretty simple, straightforward, nothing like super crazy, explosively exciting or anything. I just wanted to talk about a couple things that have been on my mind lately, things that I've essentially been like, oh, I should probably make a video about that or talk about it or something along those lines. And I figured that today was as good as any of a day to go ahead and knock that out. Because I do have other videos planned for the rest of the week. Um, I am going to be doing my first ever book review, which should be fun. And I'm also going to be doing some stuff about like watching the new Blood Bowl 3 trailer and all that jazz. But for today, we're essentially just going to focus talking about things that I don't think necessarily need to have their own video, at least not as of yet but I still want to talk about it because it's on my mind. The first and foremost of which is just a quick announcement that for anyone who has forgotten, because it's been two weeks, so I wouldn't be surprised if a couple people had, tomorrow is uh, Wednesday, which means that it is time for the third Sotek Tabletop Tournament. So if you want to catch some really hot and steamy Total War Warhammer action where people are submitting their list in advance and hashing it out in a best of one tournament then tomorrow is going to be the day. Uh, the tournament itself is going to start at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and the actual like live stream will probably start around eh, probably in the ballpark of 11 a.m. CST depending on how many people end up signing up for it so the start time is a little bit flexible until I have that locked in but I will have the link to the challenge page down below if you would like to join up and participate in the tournament. It is open for all levels. Literally all you have to do is create a list and submit it to me and you're pretty much good. So um, that page though will have anything you need if you'd like to sign up for it and I would love to see some new faces and some crazy new builds and all that stuff. There are still quite a few slots left open for this week. Beyond that, um, if you have not caught the stream on Monday, this week is, of course, Warhammer Fest, which means that every day this week, Games Workshop has been revealing bunches of new models and some other things. Um, I'll actually, if you missed Monday's video, I will actually leave a link down below if you'd like to check it out. But um, I'll also put up a clip around here-ish of a particularly humorous moment that um, nearly killed me. So uh, that's kind of worth checking out because they did reveal a very bizarre mobile game that I fully intend on playing just to see if it's actually as bad as I think it's going to be or if it somehow can surprise me. But um, the model reveals have been very, very exciting if you are looking to like start collecting even certain fantasy armies there's a lot of exciting stuff to check out most notably the new vampire counts for age of sigmar which are known as the soul blight grave lords they got a ton of beautiful fascinating models i particularly i think my favorite model that was revealed are the new giant dragon ogre vampire things that are super weird but awesome looking nothing like this would ever exist in fantasy so i i tend to really love when aos stretches its muscles doing something that could just never happen in fantasy and this is a perfect example but there were actually a lot of cool models revealed that if you are a vampire counts player from fantasy and you're waiting for warhammer the old world i think you could safely go ahead and pick up these models and you'll probably get some use out of them but at the very least, if you even play old school Warhammer Fantasy, like you play 8th or 7th or 6th edition or whatever, um, then some of these models you could use very easily in your tabletop being that are coming out with this release. Uh, on Monday or yesterday, they revealed the new Dire Wolves, which look absolutely fantastic. They're beautiful sculpts. I actually much prefer these to the older ones. Um, the older ones were, they weren't bad, um, but I, I think their ratio of like living not living tissue because they're undead but like the old ones were mostly like exposed skin and muscle um exposed skin exposed like muscle and then bone with very little amounts of fur these ones i think for me personally are much more of what i envisioned when i would think dire wolves which is that they're mostly intact but then when you would look closely at them, you would see that there are parts of exposed muscle and bone and all this stuff. And they have like glowing eyes the way this guy painted them. And they just look great. 
Um, so I, you know, you can pick these up. They're also with this uh, release, even though we didn't see them into uh, yesterday's reveal because they already revealed them a while ago. We did get new zombies and new skeleton warriors. So almost the and new uh, new fell bats as well. So almost the entirety of the old vampire count range has now been refreshed. Um, the only things that didn't get new models were things that got models in 8th edition and I think frankly don't need new models right now such as like the Mortis Engine, the Coven Throne, the Corpse Carts, like all of those are still really good looking sculpts and they're plastic so you know you don't need anything there. Um, but uh, yeah a lot of really exciting stuff coming for old school Vampire Count fans or people looking maybe to start a new army in AOS. The Soul Black Grave Lords look like they're going to have an absolutely colossal range and they have a ton of special characters too. I think I've counted like at least six special characters. So uh, if you're maybe looking for an army to start with and you are drawn to the Midnight Aristocracy and the fleshless or mindless legions under their command, perhaps this is the starting place for you. However, when it came to today, um, we also got some 40k reveals. Um, to my, I unfortunately missed today's stream due to uh, oversleeping. But uh, to my understanding, it was a pretty tame um, set of reveals. It was entirely revolving around the Sisters of Battle, uh, which is great for those guys. They did finally announce their new, uh, I think they're called Codexes in 40k. Uh, so the new army book has been announced for them, which I assume is going to be coming out after the uh, Deftus Mechanicus here in a, a week or two, um, hopefully soon. So if you're a big fan of the Sisters of Battle, I'm sure you're just over the moon because they just have a huge range of really nice plastic models now. So just good for them. You know, it's so nice to see an army that had by, in every way but name, essentially been considered squatted by most of the community coming back with such a massive overhaul. Um, just very wonderful and exciting times we live in for all that. Um, some other stuff I wanted to talk about um, for Age of Sigmar. Uh, we already talked about Krag uh, Kragnos during the live stream, but you can check all that stuff out there. Um, basically, destruction, all the greenskins and giants and uh, uh, ogres have gotten their first playable god, which is Kragnos, this big centaur guy. He's the, Lord, the god of earthquakes, which is just perfect for destruction, and uh, he's huge. <laughs> he is a very big model. Um, beyond that, uh, the last AOS thing we're going to be talking about today is that we actually got some pretty interesting new trailers for AOS Stormground, which does come out this month. Uh, AOS Stormground, if you have not heard of it, is the first genuine video game. Uh, uh, how do I say this? I, I feel that it is the first high quality video game that's kind of its own thing. I mean, there is Warhammer Underworlds. But Underworlds isn't really AOS. It's like a, it's more like a, you know, a side game, which I absolutely love Warhammer Underworlds. But this is going to be our first like legit Age of Sigmar experience. Um, it, it does seem to be very well made. The graphics look good so far. The animations look good. There's a lot of unique characters. Um, I think the only downside so far is that it only has three starter factions, but they do seem to be very well fleshed out. Um, it starts with the Stormcast Eternals, of course the night haunts and then the maggot kin of nurgle so these are actually three armies i really really like um i definitely will be trying this game i do probably need to reach out to the devs to see if maybe i can get some sort of early media access to give it a review but uh i am very much looking forward to this and it does come out later this month i believe on the 23rd don't quote me on that but sometime i know it's after the 20th but um more expect more updates about that um once we are closer to release and maybe i can get a hands-on uh, the only other thing that I'm going to talk about today is Vermintide. So if you have not noticed, um, Vermintide, as I've done a few streams here on YouTube as well as on Twitch, did actually get a new FLC in recent times, which is called the Chaos Waste. And it actually came with a DLC as well, but the, the you, you don't need the DLC unless you just want the new weapons. The new DLC is basically just like, hey, here's one new weapon for each career, and some, and there are also, um, a new, there's a new cosmetic DLC, which is just that, you know, makes your character look cool or whatever. But uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend 
playing this FLC if you have not already. Like, if you own Vermintide or you've been thinking about getting it, uh, which, uh, just as a quick aside, if you're thinking about getting Vermintide or any video game, you can always check out my uh, associated link down below to Fanatical if you'd like to get games generally on sale and also support the channel. But that aside, um, <laughs> that shameless self-promotion aside, um, this this FLC, because it's totally free, the, the Chaos Waste experience is completely free, I cannot recommend it enough. Um, I do intend on making a standalone video talking about it sometime in the future, but I'm not quite done kind of getting through the experience and trying out various things, so not quite ready for that yet. But I would heavily recommend playing that and trying your damnedest to maybe get with a group of friends, like maybe get four of your buddies or three of your buddies together along with you and uh, play through it. It's it's genuinely a very good riotous time. A lot of people are streaming it. A lot of people are playing it. I've been streaming it on Twitch um, almost daily lately. Um, which if you haven't already, please, please, please go to Twitch and follow me at www.twitch.tv slash loremaster of Zotek. Uh, I would love to have you guys follow me on there because I'm actually going to be doing a lot of stuff on Twitch going forward. Um, a lot of, a, a lot of stuff, uh, will be only over there on Twitch, um, for, um, various subjects, but, um, when it comes to, like, live stream stuff. So, anyway, uh, I hope you all are having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. I hope you're doing your best to stay safe out there and take care of yourself and your loved ones or someone else that's close to you. They say the best way to live life often is to not only take care of yourself, but at least one other person. Anyway, um, just random thought. <laughs> um, I don't know why I brought that up, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, I hope you all uh, take care and you are safe and lovely and beautiful, as I know you all are. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the book reveal, a tabletop tournament live stream here on the YouTubes. And also maybe something else um maybe we'll make it in time for the yes there's a warhammer fest i was trying to remember what it was there's a another warhammer fest stream tomorrow which we will do our damnedest um to join but we might be a little late or even possibly miss it because of the tabletop tournament but that's a prior engagement so that takes a seniority any event that's gonna be it for me today i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching